It is freaking cold. <laughs> they did a good job uh, putting these walls up. <laughs> it's not my day. I'm Dawn and we're on the road to navigate, explore, repeat. Today we're navigating to the River City, Evansville, Indiana. We'll explore a private jet, visit a house from a popular sitcom, and have coffee with some playful kitties. I stopped and got coffee. It's chilly. Today it's 45 degrees and coffee is just perfect. But I don't drink coffee every day. Not that I don't like it, I love coffee. It's just that I'm too lazy to make it. it takes too much time. <laughs> you know you're in Kentucky when you turn left at a place called Hog Hollow. It's very early on a Sunday morning and I'm heading to Evansville, Indiana to pick up a gimbal that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And it happens to be brand new for a fraction of the price. The person just doesn't want it. I'm excited to get my gimbal. So I decided to make a day out of it and explore Evansville. I'm very excited. There's a lot of fun things to do. It seems like a pretty cool city. Evansville is a city on the Ohio River in Indiana. Early French explorers named it La Belle Riviere, which means the beautiful river. Okay, I wanted to come to this place because, well, let me show you. They have all this antique, all these antiques, original signs. Ooh, look, there's a. Wizard of Oz. Nice. Old Texaco sign. Cafe Venice Italian Chinese food. That, look at that old pump. Got that old truck stop sign. Looks like a boxer. So it's called Wilson's Ribs. And it's open on Sundays, 11 to 6. We have cheeseburgers, chili, dead chicken. Wilson's General Store started as a restaurant in 1995, and in 2006, an accidental fire occurred, destroying all contents in the building. Tim Wilson relocated to Evansville, Indiana, and started from scratch. He was in business another eight years before deciding to close due to the success of his barbecue sauce. Well, you would think that if they were about to open at 11 o'clock, there'd be somebody here. I'm thinking they're closed, closed. Darn. All right, on to the next place. freaking cold out here. I think it's 38 degrees. We're about to head into the River Kitty Cat Cafe. I'm excited. Kitty cats. Back to the car. I forgot my mask. The River Kitty Cat Cafe was opened in 2017 by two local women, Annette Grease and Nancy Drake. The cafe provides another location for homeless cats in the community to find forever homes. The Vanderburg Humane Society provides all of the adoptable cats. They have a large variety of macaroons. Lemon macaroons, honey lavender macaroons, peaches and cream macaroons, fruity pebbles, blueberry cheesecake, vanilla strawberry cheesecake, Nutella, dark chocolate, salted caramel, almonds, s'mores, coffee caramel. I had a coffee and a banana muffin. Oh, 
These cats are full of personality. <laughs> there are about 16 cats at the cafe at all times who are all up for adoption. Once a cat is adopted, they bring another homeless cat to the cafe. It costs $8 for 60 minutes to play with the kitties and $6 for 30 minutes. Walk-ins are welcome, but you can make reservations online at www.riverkittycafe.com forward slash reservation. You want a cat? Come here, because they are as sweet as can be. Look at that face. A lot of the cats I played with were so sweet. If you're looking for a new kitty cat, please visit the River Kitty Cat Cafe in Evansville, Indiana. All right, it's lunchtime. I've got my mask on. We're going into Flourish, which is a plant-based uh, restaurant and cafe. Let's see how it is. Uh, <laughs> it's not my day. All right, we gotta find somewhere else to go eat. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go to Franklin Street. We're just gonna drive up and down. I heard that that's a, a nice street for like shops and restaurants. Okay, here's Franklin Street. Those old light posts, I love them. There's the old courthouse. And this is like the courthouse square. Oh yeah, there's a lot of little places. I'll go around the square. There's a pizza place, no thank you. So one thing here in Evansville that they have, which is pretty cool for the kids, is their own private jet. Now, what kid wouldn't want to play on that? Let's look inside. Wow. It even has seats. Oh my God, there's a cockpit. It's pretty cool. You can find this jet at the Stoplight City Playground on 11th Avenue. So we're here at Bo's Field. It's where they filmed A League of Their Own. And they left some of the signs up. I'm gonna try to like peek in and see if I can catch a picture of those signs. It is freaking cold. Now I could have swore there was, oh I know. It was when I, I drove by and I could see it from the road. <laughs> okay, we're gonna zoom in and see if we can see it. They did a good job uh, putting these walls up because you can't see hardly anything.
Man, I wish that was open right now. <laughs> Home of the Evansville Otters. That's cute. Okay, I am so excited to show you this one. This is literally a show I grew up on, and you probably did too. Let's see if you recognize it. That's right, it's Dan and Roseanne Connor's house in fictional Lanford, Illinois. You can find this house at 619 South Runnymede Avenue, Evansville, Indiana. Yep, if you're like me, you probably related to one of the uh, characters on that show. My character was Darlene. That's always who I uh, really felt like I was most like. So drop in the comments, who were you most like? Oh God, here it comes. God, if I was in here at night by myself, I think I would have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Oh, you can press buttons? Hmm. I just pressed that button. I thought it was... Nothing happened. I may have pressed something, an emergency button. I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't see any more buttons. I'm the only one in here. Welcome to our town. I greet you as an elder of our village. As a young man, I provided for my family, chief, and town by fishing, hunting, and building the houses and stockade of this community. Now, as I grow old, I sit outside my hut and enjoy the natural beauty that surrounds me. You see my children and grandchildren. They are busy with the everyday tasks of building, cooking, and gardening. The house my sons are repairing is much like the one I built with my father many years ago. Strips of the tempered clay were rolled out and attached to the base in coiled layers, moving upward and being shaped in the process. I can't, I can't, it's too cold. It's too cold. It's freaking cold. <laughs> it is way too cold. I can't, I can't stay out here. <laughs> Thank the Lord. That was our trip to the Angel Mounds. It's way too cold to walk out to the mounds, but I really would have loved to. I'm gonna have to come back. So if you're ever in the Angel Mounds, um, definitely go through the Interpretive Center and then out back to see the mounds. And I suggest coming in the spring. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me in Evansville, Indiana. I never did get my gimbal, and I couldn't find a place to eat, so I ended up eating at Burger King. So I'm on my way home, and the sunset looks amazing. It's a nice end to a nice day. Come along with me next time when we navigate, explore, repeat. Take it.